Prepare yourself, guys. We are going to talk about 2,800 subscribers. Amazon can save AMC theaters. And is Beyonce going to play Storm? Well, we're going to discuss that right here. Welcome, guys, to Talking Through the Media. It's your home for entertainment news and reviews by fans for fans. Remember to like and subscribe, send in those questions and those comments. We want to hear all of them. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm Amy Newman, and joining me today is the... I've run out of adjectives. The, the ever so whatever you want to make up. The effervescent, Chris Fake. That's what that's what happens when you don't uh, uh, send that check in the mail in time. I just wanted to ask you one thing about: Have you noticed this new thing that's happening on online lately, like on Facebook uh, chats and whatnot, where someone will post something and say something like, uh, "They'll they'll say whatever their conspiracy theories is. Mm -hmm. They won't cite any proof or evidence, and then mm -hmm. at the end of their monologue, they'll say." Do your research. Have you been seeing that lately? Do your research. This that's like the new thing to say in 2020 lately. It, a it little is, bit. It's, I it's, it's pissing me off. I, I, I feel like I'm pretty lucky. I have a pretty, for better or worse, I have a pretty curated Facebook bubble. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and and, and out all the like people I know from college who say shit like that. Just like, mm, mm, don't need that in my life. Yeah. And you're blocked. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's it's something it, I, I got I got caught. It was somebody had like uh, somebody was standing next to a big giant poster about something about coronavirus. It wasn't just about the coronavirus. It was about how um, trying to get rid of uh, a, the uh, currency, paper currency, is a conspiracy theory. That it was just a whole laundry list of a guy's spiral down to madness. And at the very end of this 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 poster of cuckoo, it said it said at the bottom. Do your research. I was like, you didn't. You didn't even prove anything. Why? I feel like, why do I have to? I have. Like, That's why things? I don't believe this. Yeah. No, no, or you know, it better yet, it could be something that I totally don't know anything about. I, I, my response to this person was, I feel like when a person says, "Do your research," what they're really saying is, I haven't proven this shit either, and I need you to help me fill in the blanks because or, I, I just don't like, have the time. I have my one weird niche, like. BS news site that mm -hmm. supports every weird thing exactly. I believe in. Exactly. I've said that to a, a guy that I thought I knew. I, uh, he said, just, just look it up. Just do the research. He said this to me. Do the research. I said, dude, you can, you can think of any crazy aliens are laying eggs inside lizards' brains to take over you know, the corporations in 2036. And you can type that into the internet and somebody somewhere in the world has made or dedicated a website to it. So yeah. it, you, you, nothing is new under the sun, but all you need is that one piece of vindication. And then you're going to come to me and go, t -t 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 you see, the, they're the lizards. There they are. I yeah. did the, the, internet, the internet's like such an amazing tool, but it's also like, I have a webcam and I can put a suit jacket on and say whatever the fuck I want. And people it's would believe so me. And that's not good y'all. It's, Google it's, before you share something. Google it. You know what real news sites are. Be honest with yourself. If yeah. it's not on one of those, maybe double check. Maybe at least make sure like a couple of people are saying it. It's it exactly. doesn't feel like too much to ask. The 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 coolest thing I've seen lately, based on what's been going on now, is the it was one post that said, "I love the way people are are quoting like." want to be celebrity uh, people, especially like unless on the Black Lives Matter thing, like people like Candace Owens or these, or this one black guy from here, one black guy from there who are obviously celebrities or who, who are in it to get money from their audience. And they'll, they'll quote that guy to vindicate whatever they already came to the table believing instead of, uh, instead of uh, reading what a PhD a black guy who has been through these things for years at all. <laughs> like you'll, you'd rather quote, Candace instead of PhD fill in the blank whoever the guy that is person, that person is not backing up what they want to want believe, to believe. Exactly. and also apparently this needs to be said now your opinions are not facts yeah. you see Candace hates them too see I did do the research that's, that's oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like okay and you're blocked <laughs> 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 so 
hard not to believe we're just doomed. Yeah, well, it's, we it's, might. It's, it's, well, that, that, with that out the way, guys, uh, before we get started, I just wanted to do a, a quick shout out. So I usually wait until we're about 20 subscribers within a new milestone before I shout it out. There's one one time before that I've said, hey, we just hit the 1,000th uh, subscriber. And then all of a sudden, five people were like, I don't like this channel anymore. And we're back at 995. So I, uh, I stopped doing that. I always wait until we're about like 20 over to go. I, I, think, I think this is a good place to start. So I want to say thank you guys for... 2,800 subs. We we hit the another milestone. We're trying to get to that 3,000 mark. We I, like I said before. Once we hit 3,000 subs, all of our subscribers will get a check in the mail for 3,000 dollars. Please read the notes. I'm lying my ass off. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> so don't get excited. I am a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes were like, "What? When did this happen? Never. It never happened." But Amy, I gotta, I gotta admit, that surge really has has come uh, recently because we were dangling like twenty seven nine something for a long, long, long time. And the recent videos that I think we've been doing lately, the um, the the reviews and and just the shows in general has has increased the the community the the back and forth with the with the viewers and whatnot and i i, I, get, I, I have to admit i have to you to thank for that you have contributed to the show so why don't you just give a, a little bit of uh just, just the floor is yours for getting us to this next milestone what, what do you have to say for obviously for dragging us over the, the this 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 hurdle i want to say thank you to everybody um if when we hit 3,000 subscribers, I will put on makeup for every shoot and not keep forgetting to do that. And I will too. I, I, I will back that up. I, 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 will do, I, I will make sure the eyebrows are on fleek from, from now on. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the uh, the next. I mean, like I said, I, I'd still be doing this if I only had two uh, subscribers. I, I just like uh, talking about these things and um, and and just having fun people to talk to talk about this stuff with. So I'm I'm excited. Can't wait till we hit three thousand. That's just two hundred more people who are probably going to want to fight me about something I've said. So. I'm like, what did you say about my favorite movie? I'm like, well, it's fine. Said. I have nothing better to do right now. I'm in quarantine still, so That's because fine. the virus is real. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No. 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 You need to do the research. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that out the way, let's see. Okay, so before we get into the show, I just want to say thanks again, guys. So uh, 2,800 subscribers, that's awesome. Uh, like I said, whenever um, whenever I, I hear from anybody, I like to, I try to respond to everybody, and I appreciate the co uh, communication, so let's just keep that going. So if you don't have time to catch the show on YouTube or on Facebook, you can catch the live stream. We also have a podcast, so you can check us out on iTunes. It's at T3 Medias or on SoundCloud. So if you're on the way to work, if you're driving, if you don't usually, I mean, I usually listen to YouTube like I'm a, like it's a podcast too. But just in case, if you're one of those podcast junkies, you can also find us uh, there as well. So without further ado, let's get the show officially started with uh, what's, uh, why is that trending? I always, I, I named a damn thing and I can never remember the name of the damn thing. The 3,000 subscribers that like to learn the name of our segments. All right, we have our first topic up. <laughs> a month ago, Brandon Katz at The Observer wrote an article called Why Amazon Gobbling Up AMC Theaters Doesn't Make Sense. The idea caused a surge in stock. However, such an acquisition would not address Amazon's core streaming needs. The article suggests that Amazon would be better off investing in a studio or ad-based streaming service to complement its existing offering. So, Chris, we pulled this on Twitter. What do you think of the idea of Amazon buying AMC theaters? And what did the people say? I thought it was a very interesting idea. When I first heard about it, I jumped on board. Look, I'm, just, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm on Amazon Prime. I have been a member of Amazon since... 2000 and I want to say 2002 or 2001, almost 20 years. I was I was on there pretty early back when that website just looked like Pac-Man, like just you know you you know you can buy a book now, you know like like I we used to swear by Amazon back when I worked overseas in Iraq, back and so yeah. everything that was delivered 
it was usually through Amazon. It was uh, one of the first um, websites, the uh, delivery websites that I subscribed to. And I still, to this day, they've even acknowledged it. Chris, it's almost been 20 years. Here's the, the gold package, which is probably going to be just a button. Jeff so Bezos is going to call you next year. Yeah, he's, no, yeah. Thanks for the money and then hang up on me. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm a trillionaire I, now. Is that unethical? <laughs> <laughs> Starving people. I don't eat now, apparently. I just gobble it up. I have nothing. I have nothing else to be angry about, apparently. Exactly. So when I, so I, since I've been uh, on the the Jeff Bezos train for years, when I first heard about this news, I was excited about it. I was like, look, if there's anybody that can save AMC, it's it's him. It's like that's like, come on, Jeff Bezos. That's that's petty cash. He can just go into his sock drawer and save AMC theaters. Um, but a lot of people were against it. I'm mean, like, what do you, what, okay. So AMC, I found out, uh, recently stands for, uh, what is it? Um, uh, American multi cinema. And I guess they would, ch it would the, ch the name would be Amazon multi cinema. I guess if they bought oh. it, I thought that was a cool name. No, people, that's people did not agree. <laughs> like that to the name of the company is just such a, I have beef with Amazon right now. Like, I love that you're, but he also, what what is what is your beef with Amazon? What what he's why? on the verge of becoming a trillionaire and can't play pay his employees like you know better wages and and make that a safe working environment and we're like you know on the verge of one of the worst recessions in America's oh, yeah. history and he's like yeah maybe we have more money for me like it's it's all very unethical and icky so anyways I'm sorry no no go no I, I, why why are you talking I'm I was just looking up the uh the poll because. I did. I posted this uh, up on the the Twitter account. I, th I think I had a um, a poll set up for. I'm now I'm trying to find it. But yeah, yeah, I mean, I like AMC's like uh, you know some ethical. <laughs> it's not. I'm aware AMC is also not like four well-meaning orphans screaming the, the screen and talky pictures. Like well, it's they're, all nice. they're on the verge. I mean, they with this oh, pandemic. I just thought I thought of it like this. I mean, AMC is the number one movie chain in the world. Mm -hmm. And with the pandemic shutting everything down, if the number one movie chain in the world shuts down, that that just opens up opportunities, obviously, for, you know, mom and pop movie theaters, uh, other millionaires here and there probably hey, I'll buy that one, that location. I'll start my own movie company. But then you're in a and I feel like you're going to be in a world of chaos where certain locations now are going to be bought out by all these independent and different companies. So. That means what used to be your favorite, I mean, I mean, even though it's maybe cookie cutters, but AMC still gives pretty good service for the most part. Your your lo your AMC location might turn into another company that could be better or could be worse. I feel like it's a gamble. So I feel like AMC was one of those too big to fail kind of companies. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I'm just being, uh, so I, I always thought that maybe the movie studios, knowing that this is a symbiotic relationship, between the because they one can't survive without the other i thought maybe warner brothers and disney and all those all the studios should get together and chip in i mean you, you, you well, don't want sense. them to, to fail do you but that was just my thought what do you think about that that idea about amazon buying no about yeah. uh, about like uh, amc just failing in general like well, like what do you think would happen if that if that happened if they filed bankruptcy and started shutting down locations I'm going to be honest. I'd be shocked if they completely went bankrupt. I could be wrong. I could, you know, be on here a month from now eating my words, but I feel like they might close locations, but I don't know. I also live in a town. I live in Burbank mm -hmm. and we have three AMCs in like a four block, right? No joke. Like within a mile of each oh, other. Yeah. For no I've heard about that in Burbank. Yeah. I've, yeah. Heard, of, I've heard of those AMCs. Yep, uh, yep, yep. John Campion talks about them all the time. Um, here in in Houston, um, yeah, there's there's an AMC, another. It's, it's almost like Starbucks. There's an AMC uh, about another 15 minutes away from each other at, at the most, 10, 15 minutes at the most. But I got excited because now there's an AMC, a brand new one, just got built. I've been waiting for two years while this thing was being built, and it's now around just just around the corner from me. Brand new. I mean, plus you know, see the the, the ass warmers, you know, the popcorn pops from the machine right into your mouth all the way down the hall. It's it's amazing, right? And I've only enjoyed it for like a couple of months and then boom, we got hit with the uh, the pandemic and now it's shut down. I believe it's going to come back, but I was excited. I saw Am Amazon might just, I was like, what, what's the worst that could happen? What, what, a bunch of Amazon Prime movies might 
uh, be in a, a couple of screens. What's okay? Oh, what's is that really that bad? Yeah. Well, well, according no, that, to, to people on Twitter, they're all yeah. giant evil soulless corporations. Yes. If one goes down and another one buys it, you, that, go, the the thing, yeah, the thing I'm more concerned about is you know like mom and pop theaters and indie theaters and you know things. And hey, if Amazon helps get you know smaller things seen, or I don't know, you know, I I. I just feel like I'm. Oh no, no, they're the they're definitely going really to. Say they're, they're, I'm so close this is because I do still have a gift card, but if I can use that somewhere, I'm happy. No, they're definitely going to become an uh, an, an even bigger uh, corporate overlord and probably destroy everything uh, that is sacred and holy in the movie theaters. But at least yeah. you know, at least I don't have to go 15 minutes down the road. Come on, but and I I mean you can you can get your movie ticket and you have your package delivered at your uh, right at your seat at the same time. I mean, I'm just, I'm just so grateful. I was getting really worried Jeff Bezos might go hungry this year. So yeah, I mean, come on, what everybody think about Jeff Bezos? I mean, he just he just recently uh, got uh, was divorced uh, after like what, what over twenty years of marriage. He had recently got divorced. Got divorced. He took almost uh, a, she took a big chunk of his money. Still the richest man in the world. <laughs> you can't. Be cool if your employees could like, you know, pee while they're working. Yeah. Anyways. He's like, oh, no, that's probably exactly what he's thinking. Oh, guys, I, he probably, what if he blamed his his ex on that? I was going to put extra bathrooms in this in this uh, sweatshop, but, you know, things are tight. You know, how am I going to make ends meet? You know, on, on, on one, only one trillion. I can't live off that. That's probably how he thinks. But you got but I, hey, I was surprised. I thought people would be at least 50 50 on it. And no, in, in a landslide, people were like, no, I said, do you think Amazon multi cinema? has a a nice ring to it and 67 <laughs> percent no yeah. <laughs> amy was trying to figure out how to vote twice and creating a, a new <laughs> i'm gonna create a, my own a, a new twitter account i'm gonna call myself uh beth jesus and vote no <laughs> But that's so the it's still up. We have like two days left as of today. Uh, you pr you're you're probably yeah. As of today, it's still uh, two days left. It's probably going to be one day left by the time you guys see this. And um, but voting is still available on uh, on the Twitter account. Go to T3 Media's at T3 Media's on Twitter, and you can find the, the tweet and uh, just lend your voice if you think Amazon buying out AMC is a good idea or a bad idea. Uh, but well, what else? What besides that crap? What else is trending out there? Well, happy Pride Month, everybody. Uh, as people may have heard, SpongeBob has been announced as a member of the LGBTQ community. According to people.com, Twitter responded as Twitter will with a hashtag. Hashtag SpongeBob is gay, showing many stills outing the character with rainbows and whatnot. But the creator of SpongeBob actually said years ago that he was asexual. So there you go. SpongeBob is a member of the LGBTQA community. Uh, I never thought I'd be this invested. I remember tweeting you that. I was like, SpongeBob is gay. And then I was like, oh no, he's asexual. And like, I felt like it was like a person like, sorry, man, didn't mean to, you know. Didn't, yeah, didn't mean to, yeah, he's just asexual. It's not, a, it's not a big deal. No, it's a huge deal. I mean, I mean, I saw the article. I, I think it was like a whole thing with Nickelodeon, right? Where they just had all their characters just yeah, it was like a tweet from Nickelodeon, like yeah. Happy Pride Month with a bunch, and SpongeBob that, was on there. That's all it was, but but because Twitter is mad, and I'm like, I'm like uh, uh, Twitter is only built by mad by mad people yep. who love to just point out you know things, whether they're obvious or not. For years, ever since SpongeBob was first created, people would notice little things like. Are they and are they not? So for years, this thing was built, it was pent up. So I feel like when Nickelodeon did that, they just opened up a floodgate. Was like, this just proves the theory, and they they just they just uh, showed stills and uh, like like clips from the show that that proves that he was a, a either gay or straight. I just, I mean, he's a sponge. I mean, what? He's a sponge. What can he be? I mean, we say we say he, but I mean, it's a sponge. It's a, it's neither boy or girl. Like it's a day, right? I mean, what I don't, I, I just, it's a, it's a sponge. I mean, I mean, we refer to SpongeBob as a he, right? Because probably because the word. A boy. I mean, he can also like 
hold down a job in jellyfish. I think we can just call call it. <laughs> I, I think people refer to him as he because it's because uh, the word Bob or something like that. The name Bob makes him it makes people think he's a boy or something like that. But he's just he's just a sponge. I've I've never watched SpongeBob and you've never watched. I've SpongeBob? never watched one episode. I I can rec if I hear the voice, I can recognize it. it it's one of those. It's it's one of those. He's become one of those characters that like Superman, like. Has my grandmother ever uh, purchased anything uh, Superman related? No, but if you said, "Do you know who Superman is?" Of course, I mean, he's, iconic. he's he's one of those, those one of those characters. I say the more power uh, to him. I'm, yeah, I don't I don't feel like it changes anything. But people no. love to make something out of nothing. I just feel like Nickelodeon was doing something nice, and then people were probably trying to turn it into something else. Well, or and hey, I I feel kind of strange being like this is an important move of representation but like I, I do you know i do know plenty of asexual people and i i do know that that is an issue that asexual people can really often feel erased so it's like yeah no let's it's it feels silly because it's a cartoon but it's also like no representation matters like i'm i'm glad people did step up and go actually it's been said he's asexual like yeah yeah uh, cool like rec like recognize i mean yeah. like I, I just don't, I don't understand why people were were committed to to out, look when SpongeBob is ready, he'll let you know, okay. But you're not going to out him for him if he if he's he's asexual, okay. If, if later on it's he's he's gay, then he, he's gay. So I, I feel like that episode of Seinfeld. Not, there's nothing wrong with it. That's going to be the new way of saying it. Instead of not that there's anything wrong with that, it's going to be yeah. there is nothing wrong with it. It's yeah. I'm, I mean, if like I said, if you don't like if you don't like it, you're not forced to watch the um, the, the the cartoon. But uh, leave but leave SpongeBob alone. Uh, alone. I feel like it's a good thing that Nickelodeon. Uh, it, here's probably the, the thing that made it such a big deal. It's because it's cartoons. People yeah. want cartoons to stay in that you know in, in a certain lane. But lately, even cartoons are like Disney is doing it now. Nickelodeon. So it's just people are probably just weird out weirded out about that. Well, and I'm so grateful for that because, you know, like, don't pretend you didn't grow up watching things that were, if not overtly sexual, certainly romantic. Right. You know, I can't think of a, you know, Disney movie other than The Good Dinosaur, hashtag The Good Dinosaur. Oh, That's yeah. Every, everybody knows what the undertones of that uh, uh, <laughs> story was really about, sweetie. <laughs> But no, but just uh, allowing, you know, be that, like, we can acknowledge that this character is asexual, even though kids will probably never, like, ask or be like, so what's Spongebob's sexual orientation? But, like, if they want to know, like, and that helps a kid who's figuring out their whatever the character may be, if they're right, right, you know, gay, bisexual, asexual, transgender, whatever that may be, the fact that, like, we're just acknowledging, like, these are not... It's sexuality, but there's also elements of it that are not inherently sexual in the same right. way like, we can show a boy and a girl fall in love in a movie and the kids aren't going, now they're going to bone. Like, we can show two boys fall in love in a movie and that just makes, you know, kids out there feel less alone, more seen, more understanding as they get older of, oh, yeah. I, I've seen this before. This doesn't scare me or I see myself represented now and I can I can figure I'm pretty sure that's, that's exactly. So I'm that's all for exactly. it for SpongeBob. I, you're you're probably 100 uh, percent right about that. I could see it right now that some uh, there's probably some kid out there who probably came across the article, uh, never maybe they never even uh, heard of the term asexual before, and they probably like, huh, and then probably realize maybe that's that, that, that's maybe that's what I am or something like that. You know, it's probably somebody out there that's probably appreciative of Nickelodeon uh, for for that because they're like. But now they're they're thinking like because okay. like if anyone's upset about this like I'm sorry did you think he was gonna like fuck Sandy on the show like I truly don't know and why we're really even I, I oh, you mean the squirrel the, 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 you mean the squirrel with the uh yeah. the, the, the uh that's under there uh, yeah 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 that's that's probably what it was some some uh, someone's religion. like drawing their fan fiction like no I I wanted that sponge and that squirrel to get together the way the good book intended. Like it's a sponge. That's a squirrel. It's under the sea. None of this is real. Right. <laughs> how much? How many oxygen tanks does that? Has that ever even been answered? That squirrel seems to have a lot of oxygen. 
On Are you really one. asking? Because we can go into this. Oh, never. Okay. She that, lives that, in that. a dome, Chris. She lives in a tree dome with oxygen. It has a tree, so she has oxygen. She goes when she has to go out into the puts on, sea. Puts on the suit. She has a space oh. suit. She's a scientist. She's very cool. She does karate. She's a Texas icon. I truly, you're missing out. It's a great show. Well, I'm glad I asked. <laughs> I can I uh, cue eye roll. Uh, I, I'll get I'll I'll watch one episode and see if I like. You know, no, I'm not because I I can tell it's one of those shows because I do this to myself all the time. A show that I'm aware of, I've ignored it for years. I'll watch one episode and I'm instantly hooked. You're not gonna graze anatomy me. You're not gonna do that. Yeah, you're not gonna graze anatomy me on this one. I'm not gonna do it. All right, guys, let us know what you guys think about it. The whole thing with Nickelodeon, the uh, with um, celebrating Pride with with SpongeBob and and officially announcing that he's uh, is or they are, are asexual. What do you, what are your thoughts about it? Let us know what you think, and we might talk about it on We Got Your Mail. So, Amy, what else is trending out there? Let's talk about Leah Michelle being <laughs> accused of bullying. <laughs> such a gossip. Being accused of bullying and toxicity on the set of Glee by Samantha Marie Ware. So on Variety, she said, I knew from day one when I attempted to introduce myself, there was nothing gradual about it. As soon as she decided she didn't like me, it was very evident. I've also seen other celebrities speaking up, uh, taking some different sides of the story, but the, the general general discussion seems to be that she is not a pleasant person to work with. I know she also lost some some sponsorship mm -hmm. uh, money. So Chris, what do you make of all this? I you are you Glee first and foremost? I, I, do. I did watch Glee when it was when it was. I didn't finish watching the right. the, the later. I, I don't even know. It's, it's, well, it was canceled, right? Um, yeah, it's not still on. <laughs> it's not still on. I felt like it was, I felt like for a while it was gonna American Idol itself. I'm like, okay, I'm I, I tapped out after about five yeah. or six seasons. But um, <laughs> wow, I did enjoy it, and I heard the guy who plays the Flash was on there. I don't remember, but maybe I that was maybe those are the later seasons that I didn't catch. I so, but I don't remember. I remember the main the main star, and I remember that her mother on the show was the girl woman who play sings "Let It Go" on Frozen. Yeah, Adina Menzel. Adina Menzel, uh, uh, Adim. Uh, how did how did uh, Adele the Team? Adele the Team. <laughs> Forever caller in my brain. But I, I never, I never heard the rumors about, uh, about any of that going on behind. I'm gonna be honest. When this whole thing started off, it reminded me. This is the first. Uh, this is the first thing I thought of. This girl waited for the perfect time to totally throw uh, her under the bus uh, like that. I almost felt bad for, um, for Leah after because. <laughs> <laughs> because oh the, the tweet that she tried to bring out was like, I want to support Black Lives Matter. And then all of a sudden, some sister goes, oh, really? <laughs> Did really? She, I believe the exact quote was something along the lines of, you, you said you would shit in my wig, which is just. Oh. Oh my God. And the and, and she didn't and you know what? She did the smart thing. She didn't deny it. She just apologized and like this. Oh, but she did that that shitty backhanded, like, I'm so sorry if anyone felt like I was being inappropriate. <laughs> like when I, when I said I was gonna shit in your wig, it was a it was like as a friend, you know, like as like sisters do. Like, yeah, because that's a that's a normal thing you say to somebody. Uh I I just I thought. I thought of something that was currently going on as like lo low level story than this. It's just some YouTubers, some one uh, a guy named John Campy, whose channel I watch a lot. His friend, um, who I've guessed it on on this other guy named uh, Robert Meyer Burnett, said something on Twitter that got um, another uh, coworker of his really hot and upset because it was kind of inciting violence against black people. He was talking on behalf of, 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 a, of a black guy who was shot, who was trying to protect his store and he got uh, killed by rioters and he was angry, but his tweet was very inappropriate. Um, even though he was thinking he was doing saying it for the right reasons. So a, a black guy called him out on it and said, you know, this is inappropriate. This is, this is bad. And they went back and forth and they escalated and it got real and it got really, really bad, but it was like, he felt like he was being, um, 
uh, blindsided because it was like, dude, we've known each other for years. Why would you call me out like that on on Twitter when you could have called me on the phone and we could have talked about this? Mm-hmm. Um, and then another per- another person uh, ch- chimed in on it. Oh, he he's he said something sexist to me like four years ago, and he's like, wait, you're. Br- we had our spat about that four years ago and you're bringing that up again after we both said we moved on from it was it just kept going and going and going and i felt like that's what this was it's like i feel like she was has been obviously has been angry four years and she stayed calm about it and she waited for the perfect moment to strike and leah knew she had no way out of it (laughs) it all came crashing down and so I, in a for a split second, I felt bad for. Her. But then when I read everything that she did, I was like, enough, enough people have had beef too. Not that one would it wasn't just one, yeah. But but it wasn't like a one person caught her at just the worst moment of her life. Like yeah. she, well, and I, I've known I was a, you know, I I, I was really into Broadway. Mm-hmm. So like, and and she was she's been on Broadway since she was a little kid, and I feel like people have stories of her being a terror as like a little girl on Broadway. So I feel like maybe just a case of some people don't handle that level of attention well. Yeah. yeah. Which I get because I probably would have been a monster too if <laughs> that many people paid attention to me as a child. But also, okay, I'm just going to say this. I'm just going to say this. You know how there are some celebrities when they get like outed for being a bad person, Mm -hmm. you're just like, I knew it. (laughs) Like you have no proof, but like some part of you has always just been like, I don't like you. There's nothing wrong with you. I'm gonna find out what it was. So I was just like, like it it was in the midst of just like so much stuff coming out. And so, and that was like in some sick little way, my little like, like, okay, these protests are happening and this was awful and oh, but Leah Michelle, we finally got her, but. Like, <laughs> I, it's, it's like, it felt like her fans, even her hardcore fans were probably like, I could tell. You knew, you know, <laughs> I um, said it really well, Eric was like, uh, he was like, yeah, cause if you watched her on Glee, there are actors who play terrible people and you can tell like, they're having fun with this. Like. Yeah. They- they're like, look at how awful I get to be. Yeah. And then there's Leah Michelle on Glee, where it's just like, oh no. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> on camera, she's like, get out of my face. You're terrible. You're the worst person in the world. I hate you, and I'm going to destroy you. And then the and then the director goes, and cut. Now get out of my face. You're yeah. the- <laughs> I wanted to destroy. Like, oh, I said, cut. I'm in charge here. Like, oh my god. Like, all yeah, I feel bad. But like a little part of me was just like. I could, yeah, I could tell. Even f- from the pilot episode, it's like it's something. I don't. It it, 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 it it's a weird choice in the middle of just like a very intense week of like I can't keep up. <laughs> oh man, it's just a one thing after another. So no, I, I I wasn't surprised. I was I was surprised that the story then at then instantly five seconds later was not surprised at all. But yeah. I guess let's let us know what you guys thought about that. Are you on team Leah? Really? <laughs> we know. Let us know what you guys think about this whole thing. If you're, if you're, um, is has this whole thing like destroyed your your glee? And is there any way to bring the magic back? What do you think is going to come of all this? And will she be uh, uh, fine after this? What do you think w- w- her career is going to be moving forward? Comment below. Let us know what you guys think. And let's move on to the next thing that's trending out there. What is going on? Oof. J.K. Rowling gave her <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> She just needs to stop talking. She gave her thoughts about transgender people and being a woman. Uh, There was backlash from followers. There were calls for her to be removed from future Harry Potter projects. Uh, One of the latest things she did was try to share the abuse she endured in her first marriage. So I feel like, first, J.K. Rowling just if she had just released seven books and shut the hell up, right. she would be in a very different place in her career right now. Also, she, 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 we have bigger things to worry about right now. Right. Like we are in the middle of a pandemic. Our country is in the middle of a second civil rights movement that I know the rest of the world knows is happening. Like it just felt there and the beginning of Pride Month. And right. 
of violence against trans women, especially black black trans women, and like they're. But she tried to pull, and she she'd made some comments in the past, and she really doubled down on them. Hard. <laughs> yeah, it was just completely transphobic, completely, uh, very much the turf sort of ideology, which is trans exclusionary radical feminists, which what those women tend to do and what those, yeah, it, it tends to be a lot of, well, listen, trans people can identify however they want, but they don't understand the struggles I go through as a woman. Right, right. Which, couple of things. First of all, like, I don't understand where the mindset comes in of I have suffered abuse and hard things in my life as a woman. Therefore, other people who might be in a slightly different situation don't get to also be per like to me that just is like, oh, no, of course, like tra a trans woman is more likely to experience violence than me a cisgendered woman so obviously i just need there's a google it you know why not to be bad look it up but like it's it's pretty obvious if you are a halfway decent person why this is shitty and wrong it it, it was like it was like another version of well all lives matter like yeah. it was that's exactly kind of what it felt like it was yeah. like you know, what, you know what i i know i just walked into this whole room and everybody's on subject about transgender and transgender rights but i want to talk about my problems right now okay yeah. i want to remind you that i'm in front of the line people like, like yeah. <laughs> that kind of, i kind of came off yeah and it's very similar to the all lives matter like well don't tell me i have privilege because my life is also hard like yeah yeah I'm not telling you you haven't suffered awful things because life is can be very hard for women. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it's again, it's an it's an obvious argument if you can't wrap your head around the difference between sex assigned at, for, at birth and gender identification. I don't know what to tell you because it's not that fucking hard. But yeah, the insane thing is just like no one asked for this jk no one was talking about you no one was talking to you no one was fucking asking like why like i thought she peaked in like ooh, nobody asked for that with wizards shit themselves and magic did away which was one of the she should have stopped at book seven uh, my friend sent it to me and i was just like i'm glad nothing she's written since harry potter was good because it hasn't been right so and, 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 that, and that tweet was just more evidence of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yet another list. I thought Fantastic Beast was bad. Was, was bad. Bad. Like, damn that tweet. Oh, Did you see boy. that tweet? Oh my God. Yeah. It, at least that made money. But oh man. <laughs> that that is it was just such a weird thing to do. Oh my goodness. I I, and, I I'm afraid of seeing, of finding out what uh, JK's uh, notes are for the next book, if that's what's coming out. <laughs> and not that this is like a, a new thought, but I saw a ton of people saying, and it's just so true, just so ironic and, and disappointing mm -hmm. from a woman who wrote a book series that I know for a lot of people in my generation was very much a lot of our first exposure to like stand up against people being shitty, like stand up to racism, you know, all this sort of a veiled metaphor. But a lot of people have just been saying, like, you realize you wrote books that raised a generation to stand up against the bullshit you're saying right now. Yeah. yeah. Well, so it's uh, just it's disappointing. Su surprise, surprise, uh, muggles. Like, <laughs> I guess, I guess that's what I don't know. I guess she just wanted to hit the the world with the reality check of what she was really a, a about. But I, like you said at the beginning, if she would have just uh just to stay quiet and just been a bigot in peace, lady. Yeah, exactly. I mean, well, well, she wanted to get the attention, and she yeah. I don't know. She, yeah. I just thought it was very weird that on uh the first couple of re responses was her doubling down, and then yeah. by that well, then she wrote an essay. Yeah, and the exact by that fourth time around, it was like, well, my husband did this. I'm like, well, okay, we know that's true, but now, okay, now you're bringing it up in a weird mo uh, moment. Now yeah. it's like, what are you trying to do now? I guess just it was it was just so weird. It's like, I feel like if 
if I ever got uh, caught saying the most uh, uh, derogatory or the the hurt, most hurtful thing to a person, and then all of a sudden uh, I'm starting to get trend and for the for the wrong reasons, and people start to come in against Chris Fagan for you know whatever the the issue is, and then I go, but don't you remember, guys? I'm you know if I, I that's like me saying something like, but guys, I'm black. You can't be I can't, you know like that's not going to shield me from the the sexist uh, or, or terrible thing that I uh, like quote unquote theoretically like like said or something like that. Like, yeah. It, it was it was just so weird. So I don't. Know. That's my two cents on it. But um, I guess let let us know what you guys are thinking about uh about all that. Do you think uh she's gonna? Uh, I don't know what word word to use for that. Bounce back from this, or she just should stay quiet and just allow Warner Brothers to keep backing up those dump trucks full of money and just just leave these issues alone. Uh, while while we're all trying to get you know good through our our day without another uh, flare up of of craziness, <laughs> so, let us know what you guys think. God, put it in the box below, and we'll talk about it on We Got Your Mail. Um, so the next thing that was trending out there, uh, there's been a lot of rumors and speculations that's been going around, uh, ever since it's been revealed or rumored online that Beyonce Knowles uh, was in talks to do a project with Disney. I mean, it's, it's like breaking news, water wet. She just did something with Disney called The Lion King. So I don't even know why this was even a big deal. But because people were hearing Beyonce Knowles, future Disney project, everybody immediately went to gotta be Black Panther 2. That's coming out on Disney. He, it, that's about black people. She's black must be she must be and not only that they are also speculating that she must be playing storm from the x-men now that that disney has the rights to uh those characters again um so let me be clear on why this is uh ridiculous even even to go there there's a couple of reasons why one popcorn because i'm i'm excited uh, break it down i mean okay so all right I'm, let's go there one <laughs> Because I'm about to get real sweaty nerd on you on this. <laughs> like the the uh, Lord and, and Savior of Marvel, um, um, uh, the creator of this whole cinematic universe, is, has always been at least five years ahead of, of 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 us on anything that comes out today. Anything that that came out today in theaters from the MCU was planned five to seven years ago. Mm -hmm. X Men was just acquired like what a year and a half ago, a year ago by, by Disney uh, from from Fox. They are not even thinking about X-Men right now. So they're not going to squeeze in one character just to make everybody feel good uh, about Storm into Black Panther 2 because it's just because it's the next thing that's coming up. Look, I I know about the whole Black Panther and Storm history in the comic books. I even interviewed the guy who wrote those books. Back when, like I said, when I was working overseas, when I was getting all those Amazon deliveries, uh, uh, there was a guy named Eric Jerome Dickey, a, a black author who I was a huge fan of. And I used to we used to mail, uh, email each other all back and forth all the time because I, I just, his writing sp uh, spoke to me. And it's because he's a comic book geek, just like I was a comic book geek. And he, and he let me in on a little secret bef years before it came out. Hey, Chris, just to let you know, I'm writing a book about Black Panther and Storm about the, you know their history and about their marriage and this and that. It should come out on Marvel in a couple of years. And he told me about that years before it even happened. And then when I went to the comic book store, there it was. And I was freaking out. Hey, my friend, uh, he, he wrote that. He told me about that. And nobody believed me because nobody knew that I, nobody believed that I knew that guy. So I know how exciting it, it is about that. But, but no, it's, it's not happening. If I was to logically deduce what Beyonce is probably going to do for Disney, the likely thing is sing. She's probably going to sing. If she's going to be in Black Panther 2, it's probably because, just like they said in, in Black Panther 1, when, when, uh, when you said you were going to open up the dome, the, the force field, and, and open up Wakanda to the rest of the world, I thought you were going to bring in a Starbucks. Yeah, we're bringing in a Starbucks, and we're going to probably have Beyonce Knowles do a concert in Wakanda. That's probably what's going to happen. If I was to speculate, that's probably what's happening. Beyonce is probably either going to do a song for the, move, for the soundtrack, or she's going to play herself on stage giving a private concert to a couple of people in Wakanda is going to be a big old uh, scene. She's going to be on, on screen for like five minutes and then she's going to, you know, cash her million dollar check 
and be out the door. No other. Th- that's that's what I'm going with. It. I I asked you, Amy, what you thought. I'm sorry, I had to rant. Uh, no, on. get it out. I had to get my nerd out because it's just so frustrating how people they they want to believe so bad. No, we're not in the X Men territory right now. That's four five years from now at best. What do you, if when you read about this, what did you speculate that was likely to be happening with Beyonce Knowles and Disney? I just yeah. hope they let Beyonce be a superhero. Like she just comes you, in and you, you want her to actually be a superhero. Would you like to help us beat this bad guy because you're Beyonce? I'd like that. Um, I would also like, I know nothing. So I'll, I saw Black Panther and it was very good, but I'm not. Maybe they're bringing, I really like when Disney movies do the thing where there's like a song in the movie and then they get the artist at the end to do like a really poppy, like R&B cover of it. Maybe they just have her on retainer to do all of those. Cause I'd be down for that. Um, Those are my theories. I could keep going, but I'm making things up. She could be, um, (laughs) I got nothing else. Look at the, look at the cast from Uh the, from the first movie. Look, look how serious they caught. They took the, uh, they had Oscar caliber actors throughout them. No offense to Beyonce. She's uh, she's Houston. She's, she's a native. uh, She's, we, I mean, I think I went to school with one of the former movies. Beyonce and Sandy Cheeks are your two. It's, it's just, it's, it's just the dumbest thing that people want. They just, just, they just want what they want. No matter how ridiculous it sounds. Beyonce is probably going to, cameo for five minutes maybe to to, to t'challa's sister uh is going to be skyping her uh like on the, like on the scene hey i'm what are you doing oh i'm just making a new suit for my brother you know the black panther what are you doing oh me and jay-z are about to take another you know, trip to washington dc and do something for charity all right bye and then that's it that's all i hope she's a barista at the Wakanda starbucks and we never address it she just has like one line like i have a a, a latte for to 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 holla and he's like they got my name wrong yeah yeah and oh then, yeah oh to, to play that joke that they always uh yep. I, I, I like his name super misspelled on the cup yeah. and why does I my puppy say Ted? <laughs> <laughs> and I, that's what i hope they do yeah, me a comic like book She's not gonna. He's, she's so, but no, she's not gonna be Storm. So all the people that are online are just, you know, just, just they, they're, they're all in a bunch, all upset, thinking that this is going to ruin. Look at how well cast the first movie was. Yeah. yeah. I mean, as, as seriously as, as we can take a comic book movie. But they're not really stunt casting per right. se. They're not, yeah, exactly. They don't, need to. they don't have to do that. That that move they. Because as seriously as they took the first one, they're definitely going to take the second one and, and any other movies that, that they do moving forward with uh with that with that franchise. They are not going to cast uh Beyonce Knowles as a replacement for uh Black Panther's mother or sister or or uh, love interest or anything like that. It's just not going to happen. I mean, uh, she just is the line. Interest I've ever seen you, by the way. I said earlier, you know, I I've never as, you an angry person. As I love Beyonce for like like I said, fellow native uh, from Houston and and, yeah. you know, and and everything. I want her to succeed, and I love her in almost everything. She'll that. be okay. I think she's fine. I want her to succeed. She doesn't. And I hope money. Jeff Bezos makes some money. Uh. The last person that they got to play uh, that character was uh, a, a fairly unknown actress. The person that they got to play before that, Holly Berry, an Oscar winner. Yeah, I'm, I don't, uh, and and Disney is really good at casting when it comes to their Marvel characters. I don't think you're gonna follow up with <laughs> with Beyonce Knowles, uh, I, I, unless you just want every geek's brain to explode. You, oh, I, I almost, you know what? I almost said something real bad. Uh, uh, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna cut myself off before I, I, I say something that's gonna trigger a whole movement against me. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stop because there was because comic book geeks can like be real fiery but no it's not gonna happen beyonce is gonna be a barista at a starbucks that's all that's 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 all that's gonna happen now guys if you didn't know 
sometimes when we uh, uh, check the internet, sometimes when we go on Twitter, Facebook, etc., we might get a few comments here and there. If you want to send a comment to us, you can send it to us anytime online right here on the uh, comic section on, section on YouTube or TikTok, any way you want. If you want us to uh, comment or uh, respond to your question, answer your questions, send it to us and we will talk about it on a segment called We Got Your Mail that plays every Saturday, 11 o'clock Central Standard Time, H-Town, baby. But we reserve one question at the end of every episode of Talking to the Medias and we have one queued up and ready to go i think this is a is this a twitter poll that, that I, we decided to uh, yeah, yeah. so uh let's see what do we have on it was on twitter right at, at t3 years.com I'll, I'll i'll just go through it, okay so you know i would say so it was amy's tweet uh or, or my tweet about amy i mean about uh what she uh reviewed uh, the 365 days on Netflix, that movie. I said, you, uh, what I said was, you know, you've got, uh, you've got to check out the review by Amy underscore in underscore Newman about 365 DNI on Netflix, the dark side of cringe worthy, <laughs> worthy when a film is dubbed a, what did you call it? You call uh, a perfume ad of, I use the word erotica, but that's not the word she used. <laughs> I should have said erotica. That's a better. We shouldn't throw that other word around. I won't throw that other word around. Uh, so the, <laughs> question I, the, the question I gave on this poll was, uh, do you, will you still watch it? And uh, let's see where the, the, the poll is at right now. I don't know if do you have it. Uh, do you have I it? do not. But as I said, I'm going to guess people will because it was number two trending on Netflix. And as I said in the review, I think people are tired of being six feet apart from each other. And even if it's kidnap erotica, they want to see the people close. So, yeah, the, okay, so the, and you're right. Yeah. So the poll that I did on, um, on Twitter, and it's still active as of right now. I think if you, uh, by the time you guys are seeing this, it should be one day left. Uh, so I said, have you seen 365 DNI? Is it better than Fifty Shades of Grey? That was the question. And 69% of you. Hey! I mean, it could it have been any more perfect. Nobody else knows <laughs> what it be. 69 of you have said yes. It is better than Fifty Shades of Grey. Do you agree with that? 31% says no, it is not. 20 out of 26 votes. It's at sixty nine percent to thirty one percent. Do you agree with that? Was it better than Fifty Shades, the 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 movie at least? I've only seen clips of Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, you're lucky. <laughs> I went to the uh, and saw that. Acting did generally look a little bit better than Fifty Shades of Grey. Like I feel like from what I've seen of it, like it it was actually the the sexy dis was sexier. <laughs> and also, I guess at least I will give it some credit. Because as much as the content of both is very concerning to me, at least with 365 days, there is a degree of like, he's kidnapping her. No one's arguing that's healthy. Fifty Shades was like, this is what a BDSM relationship looks like, which it's not, which like, is scarier to me because the odds are higher that a, that a person could be manipulated by that information into being like, oh, I guess this is healthy. Like, I will give it, it, it didn't do anything for me because it creeped me out. Mm -hmm. But no one's watching that and going, I want to be kidnapped by a mafia. So, like, that's not. And so. go have a shopping montage. Like, I think because you mentioned that on the uh, room. Shopping montages. That did look fun. Um, but yes, I do think, I do think this was legitimately like steamier and, and a little more visually interesting to watch. So I'll give it the edge there, but I will also say neither is my thing. And that's not, uh, that's not a prudish anti-sex stance. I feel like people are getting confused by that. Mm -hmm. Sure it isn't. Sinister sure. nun. Amy Newman, she's a sinister nun. She just, well, no. She's like, icky, ew. No. If you don't get consent, it's not sex. It's something <laughs> else. Erotica. No. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a you, know, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of how after the Twilight movies uh, uh, books got so popular, everybody wanted to be a vampire. I want to be bitten. I'm going to be bit like, dude, 
You don't want to. And then when people started actually getting bitten, they go, started going to the hospital, like stop drinking blood. Like what's wrong with you? What? Like you, you didn't hear about this? Like, no. people, like people like went like got sick because they were really biting people and doing all these vampire fantasy stuff and role playing and all that stuff. And it's just look like you do your research, Amy. Okay. <laughs> Pain, consensual. I don't know how to make that any clearer for people. <laughs> it was so weird. I'm going to start logging off every one of these videos like, what? Oh. Keep it safe saying consensual. It's, it's, it's so weird. So that's what it reminds me of. Okay, guys. Look. I'm going to end it on that. That's the, that's the show, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Did you like what you saw? Uh, then support the channel. Become a subscriber. Send us a like and send us your questions and comments for us to read out on We Got Your Mail. We can all, you can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, on TikTok as well. And at, T, at anywhere at T3 Medias. Uh, you can also send us an email if you want to send us topics that you want us to discuss on Why Is That Trending. I'm Chris Fagan, and uh, thank, I want to thank you once again, Amy, for helping me out on the show. And uh, just tell everybody where they can find you online. All right. I'm Amy Newman. I am at Instagram at Amy.n.newman, at Twitter at Amy underscore N underscore Newman. That's going to be the death of me. Uh, and as always, this episode was filmed in front of a live studio audience of Beyonce dressed as a Wakandan barista. Okay, there you go. I would have said it was filmed in front of a live studio audience of nymphomaniacs. <laughs>